If you're following my channel, the chances are you're a home lab user or you just like tinkering with tech. Whichever it is, one of the pains with, that comes with this is installing operating systems from USB flash drives. One day you may be installing OpenSense, the next PFSense, um, then you could decide that you want to try XCPNG or Proxmox. And just keeping all these operating systems lying around on like 10 USB drives is well inconvenient to say the least so there is a utility called ventoy and basically this allows you to format a usb drive in a way that you can copy just the isos across um, and then when you boot from that flash drive it will give you the option of which iso you want to choose to install the operating system from by the end of this video you'll be able to do that you'll be able to do just that well let me show you an example So here we have a virtual machine, and I'm going to start this. Now, this is booting off a physical USB drive. So as you can see, we only have one ISO on there at the moment, and that is PFSense. But you could have multiple on there, you can have 5, 10, it just depends on the size of your drive. And it makes it very, very convenient. Um, not to mention the cost of purchasing multiple USB drives. So we can basically choose the ISO that we want. Go ahead and boot from it. We want to boot in normal mode. And now we can boot, in this case, the PFSense ISO and install the operating system from there. So there are a lot of advantages to it. So I've Seen a few people on my channel mention the tool Ventoy. I've never used it to be honest. Um, I've just never had a use case for it. I use IODD devices, which are basically external hard drives, um, but they're encrypted. You put a code into them first and then you can boot off them and they support booting from multiple ISOs. So I've never actually done this, but enough people have mentioned it for me to do a video and cover it to show people how to use it. So we'll head over to uh, ventoy.net, grab the utility and see what we need to do to get it installed. Now I am using Linux here. Um, if you'd like to, to cover this on Windows, please leave a comment down below uh, and I'll happily cover it. So this is the main Ventoy website, ventoy.net, um, a new bootable USB solution. So just make sure you're at the, the right website. I'm going to head over to Downloads. Now I want the, it does support Windows, I want the Linux version, so I'm just going to click through to that. Then I'll take them through to SourceForge, where I can grab the file, so I'm just going to copy that. Um, I do like this, I'm going to do a quick video on this, I don't know if it's the purpose, but copy link without site tracking. I absolutely love that in Firefox. I'm going to head over to a console, I'm going to download that with wget. Now I'm going to extract that. So we've extracted it. Now if we go into the Ventai directory, like this, you can see we have, this is the file we want basically, ventaiweb.sh. I'm going to sudo needs to be run as a root make it executable So when we run the script, it's going to give us this output and it'll say, please reopen your browser and visit this link. I'm going to hold control down and visit that link. Done for a browser. Um, say run it as root. So this is what we get. 
this is how we basically start to initialize our USB drive. So select the drive. Now you can go ahead and just click install. A couple of things to be aware of. Um, now you might want to keep a couple of um, USB flash drives around. Um, this secure boot option, if that's ticked um, with the latest version of Ventai, I can't get it to boot PFSense. Um, so that needs to be unticked if you want to support booting PFSense or any FreeBSD operating system, basically. I'm going to leave that unticked. You can choose the language that you want to install it. I'm just going to leave it at the default. And then we're going to go ahead and click install. You can see before I did this video, I've already gone through this once. So we'll install it. Double click to confirm. It will wipe anything that's on the drive. So that basically is it. Um, been successfully installed, and as you've seen pop up then, we have a new USB device called Ventoy. So I have a PFSense 2.7 release ISO here, and I want to put that on my um, bootable drive. So we're just going to copy the ISO. I'm going to go onto my Ventoy drive. I'm literally just going to paste that ISO on there. I'll copy another one on there just so it's um, a bit different. I'm just going to copy that over as well. Okay, that's copied across. So now we have PFSense CE 2.7.0 and all these later releases. That's just an ISO I had on my machine. Now we've got also got the uh, Windows 11 ISO. So I'm going to eject that um, and then we'll boot our machine and we'll see what Ventai looks like then. We've got both our ISOs on there now. So if we go ahead and boot our virtual machine, we should now be able to boot from either. So this is booting directly from the uh, USB stick that I've just burnt. And as you can see, we have PFSense CE on there and we also have the Windows ISO. So we've got PFSense CE. You can choose to boot from that. Power that off. And we have our Windows 11 ISO and we can boot from that. And now we've got the Windows setup screen. I'm not going to go through setting Windows RPF Sense. Um, if you do want to install Windows RPF Sense and you're not sure how, check out my other videos. Um, there's plenty of videos on how to do both. So I hope that um, helps you keep your collection of USB flash drives down and save you some money on purchasing them. Um, thank you for those that brought Ventai to my attention in the comments. I much appreciate it. It wasn't a utility that I've heard of. Um, and it is quite a useful tool. I'd also suggest checking out the uh, IODD devices for securely um, encrypting data on external drives, booting from them, um, which also support ISO devices. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. As always, consider subscribing. Tell your friends. Hit the notification icon to uh, keep updated on what's going on on the channel. I'll see you in the next video.